Watcher, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to troubleshoot an application by tracking and recording the rights made by that application with a free program called Procmon. You can get it from this website here, it's called Process Monitor and Procmon for short. You can uh, hit the download button here, it's only 1.26 megabytes in size. It does work with Windows XP Service, t Service Pack 2 and higher which means it works with Vista and Windows 7. OK, so once you've got it downloaded, I always keep mine in my C root directory and as you can see I've got a little folder there called Procmon and I'll just put the actual files inside there. OK, it doesn't need to install. Now just for this video I've right clicked and sent it to my desktop to create a shortcut. You don't need to do that bit but it's just easy for me to click on it in this video. Now in Windows Vista and Windows 7 it's advised that you run this as administrator so right click and run as administrator. Now once you get to this stage we can just remove all these. I just want to restart as you can see I've uh, already been doing a few but I'll reset everything back to the way it uh, was. Okay so this is what we've got at the moment. So what we need to do is we're just going to leave one enabled and this is the one we want to leave enabled. Show uh, file system activity. This is the one that we want running. Okay, we don't want all this other stuff running at the moment. The next one we want to click on is filter and it's this tab here. It looks like a diamond. So just click on that and uh, again I'm just going to remove these for this video and uh, this is the bit that's interesting us. We're going to set our own filter up so we can monitor the application. So the first thing we need to go is on the drop down menu here and as you can see it's called operation and it's right there and this bit here we want to contains and in here we want the write function so we've got write file now as you can see there's loads of other stuff in here but we're just concentrating on the write function for this video and uh, in here we want to make sure we include it okay and then we want to click on the add button and as you can see now it's now the value is write file action is included relation is contains and also the operation of the uh, function there so what we're going to do is click uh, OK and as you can see it's set it all up ready to roll and we can see operation is write file uh, success and so on and so on okay so it's changed the whole look of it now you can see my cam, uh, camera recorder running and what we need to do now is uh, going to just take the ticks out, take these out again because we don't want all them running, we just want this one here running, ok, system activity ok so from there once we've done that we can now monitor what's running on the system and you can see this is running all the time down the bottom here, show and events ok and that will continuously run and show us what's happening on the system, now at the moment you can only see my cam, uh, camera recorder but if I started to open up stuff uh, and wanted to monitor that we could run whatever we wanted a test so for argument's sake if it was uh, uh, Firefox or something like that was causing issues or something like that you can uh, find out by looking at the rights to that uh, application there so I've run that uh, Mozilla Firefox I've got that now running and inside here you will see Mozilla Firefox is now started up okay and you can see the PID number there and the operation it's writing and you can see. Okay, and that's basically how you can uh, troubleshoot uh, writes from an application. So what we can do here, we can also make a save of this file. We can come up to Tools and File Summary. Okay, we also got Process Activity uh, Summary here. But if we were File Summary, we've got By Path or By Folder or By Extension. And if we went By Path, you can actually make a, a, a saving of that file of what's been going on okay so all we need to do is click on save or save the bit that you want to save and then call it whatever you want okay so we can call this right results uh, and we're going to call that number two there and that's gone on to my desktop and that will make a, like a file with all the actual uh, information that is uh, recorded okay that's how we've recorded all the information there's loads of other stuff you can do from here if you wanted to and have a little play around with it you're not going to harm anything on your system 
and uh, I would advise you to have a little play with this program it's a very underrated tool and it's a really decent uh, bit of kit and as you can see we're looking at the process here now of Firefox and it gives us the information that we need okay there's a, a stack there that shows you what's going on and you can see everything that's uh, right from the kernel and so on and so on the address you can save this as well you can save this information if you wanted to whatever you want to do okay and so there's quite a few options open to you you can play around with these bits at the top if you wanted to show the registry activity uh, show the network activity and we've also got show process and thread activity and on the end there we've got the profiling of events of the uh, application okay so you just uh, have a little play around but this is the bit that I was interested in just for this video okay we've also got a target here which uh, includes the process for, from a window so we'll cover that in another video okay so th this video uh, is only a basic video but if you want more like these videos please uh, join the forums and uh, get, put your requests up there and ask me what you want to do and I'll make these videos for you so I hope you enjoy these type of videos my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk if you enjoy these videos please remember guys hit that subscribe button and also rate and favorite all my videos if you like them and uh, and I shall see you over on the forum if you've got any problems with your computer. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Bye for now.